Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be breaking down the official first photos for Episode 1. Also, they've released a poster for the final season, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So exciting times, we've got our official first look photos at Supergirl Season 6, Episode 1, along with a great new poster for the final season, so Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. So here we go. Here is the official poster for Supergirl Season 6. It is awesome. I love the colors. I really, really do. And it really pops out and it really says, yes, this is epic. Like, this is a thing you should watch. Even though it's not Supergirl's greatest posters, obviously, like, we've seen a lot of posters like this on the DC TV shows where it's just, like, stacked heads. However, I think the color scheme here and the way that they've edited it actually is really cool and so let's have a look at all the different people so we got alex in the top left corner this is a old photo of alex i believe i think it was included in last season's poster so when they don't have time to do promotional shoots like now they'll go back and they'll use old photos they've used before and just re-edit them so that's what they've done to alex and alex is i believe just in her normal like deo black suit and then you have kara and one specific thing about this is kara still has bangs in this photo so what you're going to be seeing throughout these photos is Carl with bangs and this is because the footage you're seeing here was shot last year and that was just before Melissa came back so like a long time ago when they were still filming for last season so season 5 basically they shot the finale but they didn't actually get to finish it and, and so they blended some of episode 19 and 20 together. And they're going to be finishing up some of those storylines. They've shot, obviously, a lot of extra stuff for this episode. However, most of the photos you're seeing with Melissa included were shot last March, I believe. So this is the lead up to what is happening with Lex and everything. But anyway, let's go back to the poster and what is going on here. So yeah, Kara looks great. Melissa has the bangs in here. Obviously, I think from episode 2 onwards, she's not going to have the bangs because we've seen from behind the scenes set photos that Melissa is going back to the season 2, season 1, and season 3 hairstyle where she doesn't have the bangs. So, I guess you guys can get excited for this, but the poster is basically teasing what's happening in episode 1. Okay, so on the right of Melissa, you have David Harewood as John Jones. This is another reused photo, but he looks very cool. Also, Lena is down here. I'm not 100% sure if this is new or not, but I'm fairly sure we haven't seen it before, but you guys can correct me in the comments down below. But yeah, it's a cool photo of Katie, and then right next to Katie, you've got Nia, so she is front and center. Nia is also getting a comic. That was just recently announced, so it seems like we're going to be getting a lot of Nia, even when Supergirl, as a show, ends. So next to Nia, you have Brainy, and Brainy is alive, and I do believe we've seen this photo before, and just behind him is a very small Kelly, just next to Supergirl. So yeah, we've seen most of this stuff. But the way they've edited it, they made it really cool, and I really like the color scheme with the purples, the blues, and the pinks. And so it says, better, stronger, together. So that's just like their new catchphrase. They always have a catchphrase every season for every poster. And so it says, final season, Tuesday, March 30th at 9, 8 central. So yeah, Supergirl's final season is premiering March 30th. Get ready, guys. I can't wait to cover it because Supergirl is just so great, and I've really missed it, and I'm sure you guys have missed it. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down the photos. So, the first photo they release is this photo. And so, this is inside the Fortress of Solitude. So, you see Melissa here, and she is in her Supergirl costume, her normal Supergirl costume that she got last season. And so, she has her bangs. Like I said, this is footage from before. However, it's going to be in the premiere because it was supposed to be some of the stuff that would wrap up last season. And so... Some people might be asking this, and it's a valid question. The question is, are we going to get an explanation why the Fortress of Solitude in Supergirl looks different from the Fortress of Solitude in Superman Lois? Well, they're never going to answer that, guys. I've had that question a lot, and obviously with them being in the Fortress in these photos, it's definitely going to be brought up again. But basically, the answer for you guys is Superman Lois is ignoring a lot of the Arrowverse continuity. So think of the show as connected because it is inside the Arrowverse and it is a part and he is going to play a part in those upcoming crossovers that are going to probably come from next year onwards. 
But for the meantime, on Superman Lois, especially in Season 1, they're going to be pretty isolated. And it was said in interviews that literally they've been given the go-ahead to do whatever they want and like retcon anything from Supergirl. And yes, I feel a bit bad, but at the same time, it's a really good show. Superman Lois has been great so far. You guys can check out my latest review that I put up last night. So I guess the easy answer to that is, think of it as a different Fortress of Solitude. Okay, so we got Supergirl here. Great photo, really nice to see Melissa back in the suit in like full quality because it's like our first really good look because we've seen behind the scenes photos but they're just set photos and we haven't had anything official so this is our first official look of the season which is super exciting. Okay so back in the Fortress of Solitude you've got Magan, you've got Jean, so Miss Martian and Martian Manhunter teaming up with Supergirl and Melissa is in her Power Rangers suit, that's what we call it. Well, it's the suit that Lena made for her a while back and basically it's the one with the helmet. So I don't know why she's here. I'm presuming Lex has kryptonite because we know this is going to be Lex they're facing off against in this episode. So according to the synopsis, they're going to take down Leviathan. That is going to happen in this episode. They're going to face off at the start of the episode, Gamma and I. She's going to be defeated and Supergirl is going to turn her attention to Lex and... According to the synopsis, Kara realizes that the only way to stop Lex is to sacrifice herself. So we have to take that into account when we're looking at these photos because I'm presuming this is later in the episode because Supergirl is suited up in her other suit. That means there's probably kryptonite there and Lex is here enacting his final plans for the world, it seems like. So what is happening with Supergirl? We'll have to wait and see. I don't know why she's going to sacrifice herself, but according to the synopsis, she thinks she has to. Okay, moving back to the tower. So we got Lena here and she is looking and presumably talking to someone. I'm presuming it is John because you can see him in this photo right here. And so he's suited up and I'm presuming what is going down here is like kind of midway through the episode or maybe at the start when they're trying to take down Gamini. But good news, Brainy is alive. You can see here he is fully suited up in his Brainiac 5 costume. It's very cool and it's nice to see him actually inside of it. And so it seems like Team Supergirl and specifically Nia were there to save Brainy when he was in need last episode. And so he is fine. He's in the tower and Nia is standing next to him. So I'm very excited to see them this season. This is followed by a photo of Alex and Kelly again inside the tower. So it does seem like they're going to all be rendezvousing inside of there to take down and be like, yes, this is how we're going to defeat Gamini or this is how we're going to defeat Lex at different points throughout the episode. But you have Alex right here. She is suited up in her new suit that she got last season. She still has that weird makeup. I'm not 100% sure about that makeup. I've always said I really like this suit and I think it's really cool and it's got a great color scheme. The blue and the black goes really well. However, I think the makeup is a bit over the top. I don't know why they don't just give her a mask because basically it's doing the same thing. But yeah, anyway, it's a cool suit. So looking forward to seeing Alex suiting up once again. Okay, so we have Lex. So Lex is returning in this episode. Apparently last season, Lex was supposed to die. So are they going to continue the story? Well, it seems like they're going to be wrapping up Lex's story pretty fast because this is going to be a very action-packed episode because it's wrapping up last season and also setting up the stuff to come in the next. So that means episode two, basically, because this is the start of the season. So you have Lex here. He's with his mum and they are teaming up and probably scheming and being nefarious as always. And so you get this next photo of Alex fully suited up with her makeup. She's got the hood up. And I'm presuming this is when they were going to say Brainy because it kind of does look like the Leviathan ship. There is a painting behind and I believe there was a couple of paintings inside that ship. Okay, so back to the Fortress of Solitude. You got Magan here and I'm not sure what she is specifically looking at, but she is kneeling down on the ground. So maybe someone is hurt. Maybe it's like Jean on the ground and Lex is enacting his final plans. That could be something like that. Okay, so let's move on now. This is a crazy photo because you got Lex. He has shown up in the Fortress of Solitude. He is wielding a sword. There is some sort of device on the bottom left of the photo. I'm not sure what specifically it is. And I know his plans, according to the synopsis, are to mind control everyone that he can and to basically follow him no matter what he does. And so it seems like maybe he's playing out some of that here. But he's also taking on Supergirl. Like, there's no reason he would just, like, come straight to Supergirl and be like, fight me or something. Because he knows he's going to get defeated. 
However, he's extremely smart, so he's probably thought of some extra things um, just in case she attacks, which most definitely includes Kryptonite, because in the last photo, you can see Kara fully suited up once again in that Power Rangers suit that Lena made. And so this is a badass photo. This is definitely before they're going in for the final fight, and Melissa is about to bounce off and fly right at Lex and beat him up. That's what's gonna happen, most likely. So yeah, super exciting time. Supergirl is coming back March 30th. I really, really can't wait. Remember guys, we're going to be doing Supergirl videos almost daily. So please be sure to not miss any videos and check out my recent Supergirl videos. And if you're interested in my thoughts on Superman Lois, which is a Supergirl spinoff, please be sure to go back and look at my recent Superman Lois reviews. Like I said earlier, I uploaded one yesterday, but yeah. So Supergirl is replacing Superman Lois on March 30th. Supergirl is going to be running for seven episodes and then it's going to be taking a 10 week break while Superman Lois finishes its first season. Then Supergirl will return for its final 13 episodes and will finish in October. So crazy times, we're going to be covering it all year round. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.